Hey there, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be sort of a spring refresh, organize with me. I have some areas in my home that just need some attention and I feel like if I don't get these areas organized and clean and just tidy, it's going to leach into my good vibe spring and summer I'm trying to have. <laughs> I really want to be present this spring and summer with my children and just be outside as much as possible and I feel like in order to do that the inside of my home needs to feel tidy functional um, and organized so I hope this inspires you to do the same I feel like when we do have good organization and tidiness within our home it relieves a ton of mental stress and allows us to just be more relaxed and be more present and have a good time. So uh, that is what my plan is this week. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and just, I have, like I said, I have some areas in my home that just need some attention and hopefully this inspires you to do the same. Please make sure you're following me on Instagram. My name is at Megan Bell Made. I share most of what I'm doing in real time um, on my stories. Also, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel here. It really helps a ton if you do that. So downstairs between our entryway and our kitchen, we have this, mudroom area and you can see just how messy everything gets. I installed this shaker style peg rail here to kind of help keep things organized because we just have so many coats. But a lot of this stuff is probably too heavy for the rest of the season. One of the things I like to do when organizing an area, and I've done this since I read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, um, you take everything out of an area, like completely empty it and then put only back what you want to keep or what you need. So in this case, I'm pretty sure we're gonna keep everything because we've been wearing it, but a lot of it is winter items. So I have a place to store all of our winter coats. I'll put all the winter coats away, um, but all of the sort of like lightweight in between weather jackets, because we are in Virginia and the temperature is like, it's like 60 degrees out right now, but it's supposed to go down to like 40 tonight. So lots of like in between jackets for in between weather i will keep out but anything that's like super heavy like snow <laughs> like the heavy heavy winter jackets um i'm going to put away and like i said with the whole marie Kondo method you um only put back what you want to use and what you need so mm -hmm. that's what i'm going to do in this area mudroom area because even though I really want to paint in here and change out these black farmhouse hooks um, there is this secret storage right here and I'm able to store all of our off-season stuff in here and it's amazing we invested in hangers a while back when we first did our packs closet it's so nice to have like a streamlined look with all the same hangers and they can be quite pricey but i got ours at ikea and they're very 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 affordable especially if you have to buy a lot okay so down here we have four drawers to use which i already asked my husband to consolidate to one drawer because it was that him and I were using two each, but I told him I want to have one kid or one drawer for each person in the house. So this is my husband's drawer. Um, if I could put his hats in here, that would be even better. I might get a little basket to put in here to put his hats because his hats are hanging up here. So we've been utilizing these baskets to hold our things, but um, it just takes up a lot of space and looks messy. So this will be a little bit better. Okay, so I think this is gonna function a lot better for us, at least until it really warms up. I've got my gather mats here, which I use with the kids a lot. Um, we take them for picnics or if we're doing something, something messy in general, I can put those down on the ground. I have different sizes or on the table as well. Um, and then bags, my baby carriers, and then some jackets. All four of us have 
um, a lightweight jacket to wear in case it's a little cool outside. So over here is functioning a lot better as well. I just have the basket here for my cloth diaper since we cloth diaper. Um, my everyday bag is hanging. Okay, and then down here, as you can see, we all have a drawer. It's all nice and organized and tidy. And as it gets warmer, we can add in our sandals, take out whatever cold weather items we aren't gonna be using over the summer, and it'll be a really simple process. I have to brag about my new toy because this thing is amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. Basically, throw out your old broom and mop because you no longer need it with something like this. This is the Osotech wet dry vacuum and it is saving me so much time when I'm cleaning my floors now because I used to have to sweep my floors and then I would vacuum them and then I would have to mop them and it was taking me so long. This does everything at once. I mean, it is a game changer. Um, the best part about it is it is really high quality, really high tech. It audibly tells you when the water is low, when you need to empty your dirty water, what mode you're in, when you're turning it off. I love it. And you only have to press one button to turn it on and off and one button to change the mode. It is so easy to use, so easy to uninstall and reinstall to clean the mop. It is easy to empty the water, refill the water. It's just like very user-friendly. It also fits into tight corners so well. Usually when I vacuum or if I use like my Dyson, for instance, I have to sweep all my corners before I vacuum. Um, this, I don't have to sweep my corners. I can actually just fit it into the corner and it sucks everything up. So you can see here, um, we spilled some flour while making some banana bread this morning. And look how easily it comes up. I mean, it just gets every little thing all at once. Okay, I just cleaned the whole downstairs. I have to show you how dirty this thing gets because it's unbelievable. And my cleaning lady was here not that long ago, so it just, you track in like leaves and just random debris on your shoes if you don't take your shoes off right away. It gets so full of hair. It's so gross. So all of that you can just wipe out. And then you can also see inside the tube, I don't know if you can see this, there's like some hair in there. Um, it came with a brush to clean that out, but the water, I have to show you the water when I pour it, it's the worst. Wow. Oddly very satisfying to know that that's off your floor. And like I said earlier, replacing the mop head is really easy. You just slide it on um, and it snaps right back in. And I have to note that the mop head on this um, is so high quality. It has like a rubber lining. I feel like it will never have to be replaced. I used it in my house um, this morning and then I just rinsed it with hot water and soap and uh, wrung it out and then I'm just snapping it right back on and it can it's ready to go. It's ready to be used again. It also came with this perfect little charging dock um, that you just literally set it on and it charges it for you. You don't even have to think about it. Boom. I did put a link in my description box for this and I would check it out now because currently there is a $100 coupon um, for it. So might as well go ahead and save $100. I surprisingly don't have a problem with unorganized closets in this house, except for this one in my bathroom. For some reason, it's just one that I have neglected since we bought this house. I just kind of put everything in it and it's been easy enough to access everything um, that it hasn't caused me too much trouble, but it's, very unsightly. So this is in our master bathroom, <laughs> as you can see. It's got a lot of organization. I have a lot of containers in here, um, but it needs to be sort of reworked and reorganized because I've just been like shoving everything in here. So I'm gonna take everything out like I always do and put back only what I need. sort of amazed at how much can fit into one small closet. Um, I did take everything out except for two items which I know are going to stay, but now I'm going to only put back what I need. Thank you. 
Indian healing clay. Amazing stuff I haven't used in years and uh, expires uh, 2015. Lovely. <laughs> of trash, stuff that was expired or we weren't using and just needs to go in the trash. But this is the final result, so much more organized. There's a couple things in the top shelf that we very rarely use. It kind of goes like from top to bottom of like least used to most used. Um, down here like our you know most used items, including my hair products. And then I don't do like a full face of makeup very often, but I do love makeup. So all of my makeup is on the second shelf here. And then I still cut my kids and my husband's hair. So I have like my hair cutting tools there and some specialty face products that I have up there that I use on occasion. And then, like I said, top shelf is just very rarely used items. But this is nice. This is much more organized than it was, even though I feel like it still looks just as full. Okay, so part of spring cleaning, in my opinion, is tidying up some projects that needed to be done, like replacing this boob light up here. <laughs> it is hideous. And I've had the box sitting here for a couple weeks. I just need to install it. Side note, please make sure that you turn off your electricity to whatever area of the house that you're working on if you're planning to do this yourself. It is something that's very simple to do, replacing a light. Um, however, you need to make sure that you turn the correct breaker off at your panel. Quite an improvement, although this air intake right here is really ugly. At some point I would like to get like maybe a more decorative one. These schoolhouse lights are actually really expensive. Like if you order from a brand like schoolhouse, I got this one at Target for, I can't remember, maybe 60. I'm gonna link it below. Such a good deal. It's a really good quality schoolhouse style light. Okay, so for my next little organization project, I have these shelves in my daughter's room, which just get destroyed through daily life, but also just need to be changed out. There's still some winter items on there. It's like kind of mixed in right now with some spring, but some of the toys that she's already outgrowing because she's getting older. Um, I love, love every toys, by the way. A lot of these are love every, and they are so attractive. They're Montessori based. Um, we just love, love their toys. Their play kits are amazing. So a lot of what you'll see here is from them. So yeah, I'm just gonna take everything off like I, like I always do and then put back what I want. I'm also bringing up this giant basket of toys for my living room, which is just like a catch-all. It's been in the living room for months and we, whenever we clean up the living room at the end of the night, we just shove everything in this basket, but it has not been gone through in a while. So I'm gonna also do that um, in addition to going through what's on the bookshelf. Okay, shelves are empty. Look at this mess. <laughs> I've already had piles of things that I know that I want to get rid of, that the kids aren't playing with anymore, and then I, this is actually more organized than you would think by looking at we it, but. not anymore. Oh, we are? Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> this is, um, most of the things on here are things I want to keep on the shelves, and they're like more spring-related items, things that are more relevant to my daughter's current uh, stage of development some of the puzzles that I think she is ready to start playing with. What's cool about this built-in is it has this huge toy drawer, which I find completely impractical. We have a ton of books, and it's like our back storage of books, seasonal books, things that my son still reads or will read, so I'm kind of thinking of moving that into here and just having sort of like a horizontal book collection, if that makes any sense. And of course I have to take this opportunity to clean the shelves because they're very dusty.
what we've ended up with. A much more curated selection on the shelves. I've got, like I said, relevant toys for her uh, developmental stage, some springy items, and then I just went through here and got all of my son's like spring books and changed his books out. So this is kind of like our back storage. I think that works a lot better. And I've got a like a really small selection here. We read to my daughter every night before she goes to bed. So she can pick her book, she can reach this. And it's a much more curated and smaller selection than what was here previously. This one, Little Cubby did have the books. Now it just has an empty crate, which I'm sure I will be filling before we know it. Um, and an extra little toy there. Don't mind the knobs. I have to replace these because <clears throat> they broke. And then there's extra toys down here that I didn't put on the shelves. So yeah, this is much more organized. I feel really refreshed and feel like this room will stay more organized now that we have organized it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this video. I feel refreshed. I hope I have motivated you to either start on your spring cleaning or continue to do so. Sometimes you can lose a little bit of like motivation halfway through. But hopefully this motivates you all. Um, please make sure you're subscribed to me here on my channel and I will see you all next time.